Welcome into the two minute drill here inside the Auburn Tigers. Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy from inside the Auburn Tigers magazine newsletters and AUTigers.com. And Mark, a uh, sluggish start for the Auburn Tigers and uh, kind of what you maybe can expect a little bit. Sam was in between games against Georgia and Alabama. Tigers come out, take care of business. Uh, defense does what defense has been doing. Uh, Auburn wins 42 14 and now can turn its attention to Alabama. Yeah, it was. Uh certainly a slow start after a really good start for the offense taking the opening kickoff and going quickly down scoring in eight plays uh, moving just right on down the field looked like it was going to be an easy day louisiana monroe had other ideas they had an extra week of preparation time they looked pretty fresh out there and eager to play you know auburn got that touchdown right before halftime moving 95 yards which was a big momentum swinger and then auburn came out in the third quarter and put it away yeah, I think looking, uh, you know, Jarrett Sidham, very efficient day once again. Had one throw he probably wishes he could have had back across his body over the middle. But other than that, made some really big plays. And Mark Arion Johnson, solid day. But Cam Martin was really the energy spark for the Tigers today. Some good runs and then the long touchdown catch. Cam Martin really uh, brought a, a, a breath of fresh air for that offense in the second half. You know, he looked really quick out there today, Jason. That's about as quick as I've seen Cam Martin look. And, you know, I think they're going to try to get a – have a role for him next week in the Alabama game because uh, he certainly looks like he stepped up as a player. Defensively, I thought Deshaun Davis had a really good game. Uh, he's a junior now. He's played a lot of football for Auburn, and he's the type of guy that needs to step up and play great next week, particularly you know, with some concern about Trey Williams leaving the game early again, holding his shoulder. Absolutely, Mark. And defensively as well, you know, Nick Ruffin, uh, interception return for a touchdown, recovered fumble. Javaris Davis with a pick and a cause fumble. Those two guys, three turnovers between them. And, Mark, that's what this defense has been looking for. And, uh, boy, it's it's always good to have that heading into a big game like Alabama. Yeah, I talked to Javaris Davis after the game. He's really excited, back healthy now, being able to contribute. He said it's been frustrating being hurt. Uh, he's certainly one of the more talented guys on defense. I'm going to shout out for Dontavious Russell, too. Well, that guy's a force inside a tackle. Now, he's the one who was responsible for the interception for Nick Ruffin because he hit the quarterback as he threw the ball. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it, it's now done the, the the full bit of the regular season except for one game. And now everybody can turn their focus, and this team can turn its focus to Alabama, Mark. Uh, hard to find a much bigger atmosphere and uh, and lead to than, than this, this Iron Bowl that's coming up next Saturday. Yeah, what a great opportunity opportunity you know a lot of teams don't ever get a chance to play the number one team in the country much less on their home field Auburn's going to get a chance to do it twice in three weeks absolutely uh looking forward to it we'll have a lot of coverage all week at utigers.com Jason Cole and Mark Murphy inside the Auburn Tigers